Are you seriously considering moving to Delray Beach, but you're just not sure where to start looking? There's an east side and there's a west side. Both of those areas are significantly different. I'm here today to help you sort through those differences and find an area that is best suited for your lifestyle. My name is Leah Black. This is The Bottom Line. It's a channel everything Delray Beach. So if that's something you might be interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button up top. So one of the big questions that we get when you are considering moving to Delray Beach is where to begin. Do I wanna be on the east side? Do I wanna be on the west side? There's a significant difference in those two locations. Hopefully with this video, we're gonna be able to guide you towards the one that is better suited for the lifestyle that you're trying to achieve. Okay, so let's talk about East Delray Beach. Military Trail runs north and south. It's a main road that goes through Delray Beach. Anything east of that is where I'm referring to when I say East Delray Beach. East Delray Beach is kind of old Florida, meaning it's where you're gonna find a lot of established communities, less HOAs, and this is where you're going to see your restaurants, your art galleries. This is where everything really happens. One of my favorite things about living in East Delray Beach is that you're really just never far from anywhere. Okay, so let's talk about the west side, west of Military Trail. On the west side, you're gonna find a lot more golf communities and you're gonna find a lot more nature preserves and you're gonna find more land. You're going to also find that you get more house for your money and you will typically have an HOA that has more amenities. The trade-off is that you're 15 to 20 minutes from the beach and that you're not gonna be able to walk downtown to a restaurant. You're going to be further away from things, but you are also going to have newer things. Your homeowner's insurance is likely to be lessened because you have newer building restrictions um, oftentimes and you are further away from the water. So that would impact that significantly. I think that pretty much describes the differences between the east and the west. So if you're looking for more of a suburbia type feel, you're gonna go on the west side. If you're looking for more of activities and being around people and being in the middle of things, you're gonna go on the east side. So if you're a golfer, you may wanna look at the west side. If you're a boater, you might wanna look on the east side. If you're looking for a quiet place all the time, you might want to go on the west side. If you're looking for more uniqueness and less HOA restrictions, you're going to want to go on the east side. So I hope I've answered all of your questions about the differences between East Delray Beach and West Delray Beach. But if I miss something, feel free to send me an email, leah at leahblacksoldmyhome.com. And if you have more questions or you want to know more about Delray Beach as a whole, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Leah Black with Posh Properties. This is The Bottom Line, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.